Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this very very interesting example related to circles 10th grade. Also can be asked in competitive exams. Let us look at this problem. Find the ratio of area of smaller circle to that of the equilateral triangle. Very simple, no numbers, nothing. So we have been given that this is an equilateral triangle. OAB is an equilateral triangle and we have two circles inside one end circle here and we have another circle here we have to find out the ratio of area of smaller circle with respect to that of equilateral triangle now what is that approach we are going to use to solve this problem if you want to try it on your own we want to leverage the concept that length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circular equal length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circular equal now only the thing i'll tell you is we'll just draw another line here so that we can get two more points from where we are drawing this tangents so that our calculation will become very easy also we'll be using little bit of trigonometry without knowing the trigonometry also you can solve the problem with your 10th class concepts so let's go ahead and try to solve this problem now we said that that logic we want to use is that length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circular equal and we have been given that this is an equilateral triangle so we know that the total side now is divided into two equal lengths so that means we know that this let me just take another color we know that this length is equal to this length which is equal to this length and which is equal to this length and which is equal to OC so OC equal to AC OE equal to BE and AD equal to DB let's write down that somewhere so that we are clear what we are saying OC is equal to AC is equal to half of half of OA similarly we also know that OE is equal to BE is equal to half of OB similarly we also know that AD is equal to DB is equal to half of AB so we know that we also know that if you take the this smaller triangle we know that OG is equal to GI we know OG equal to GI and we also know that GI equal to IC because length of tangents drawn from an external point I to the circle are equal but this is a common tangent to both the circle that means CI will be equal to IG so let's write down that also what we know now extra is we know that this length we'll do it with another we know that this length is equal to this length equal to that and this equal to this and equal to that and that part is equal to that and that part is equal to that because that's an another equilateral triangle we have there so once we are able to understand this concept then it becomes pretty easy for us to solve this particular problem so what we have done is very simple we have taken the equilateral triangle we know length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circular equal since it, it's an equilateral triangle AD and DB will be the same AD equal to DB because you know that in equilateral triangle the per the point of intersection of medians altitudes angular bisectors all of them are same only so we will have ad equal to db and then we will have oe equal to be and we have oc equal to ac okay now what is our approach is we'll start with the, the radius of small triangle as r 
we will say that radius of the small triangle is r so let me write it down radius of small triangle is r so i will say that this is r now i will join that to here and uh, if i am able to find out this whatever we have fj then we know fj equal to hj hj equal to d je and that is also equal to oh and once we are able to understand what is oe then we know be equal to oe and all of them are equal so that is the logic what we are going to apply so for that what i will do i'll take this triangle and put it here separately we have this is the triangle let us say this angle is theta now we know that this is r and can you tell me what will be the angle theta theta will be nothing but 30 degrees because it's an angular bisector so whatever we have if you remember the concept the second theorem what we have learned we know that these two angles are equal to each other and the angle in equilateral triangle is 60 degrees so theta equal to 30 degrees and we want to find out what is this length jf if we are able to understand what is jf then our problem is solved now what is tan theta tan theta equal to r divided by jf r can I say JF equal to R into cot theta that is cot 30 degrees which is equal to root 3 R that means we got this length equal to root 3 R so we know this is root 3 R that means this is also root 3 R and this is also root 3 R we know this length is root 3 R and we also know this length is root 3 r because we know that uh, maybe one i have done extra one minute we also know that j e is root 3 r so we have root 3 r here but we know that o e equal to b e that means this whole thing is equal to 3 root 3 into r let us see how this came this is important so let's try to understand let us take this is r and we know angle is 30 30 because we know that from theorem 2 that this line joining center to external point is angular bisector 60 divided into two parts is 30 degrees so tan 30 so we get jf equal to root 3 r but we know that root 3 r is equal to this and that is equal to again je so and we also know that hg equal to o h because it's an equilateral triangle so we got root 3 r root 3 r plus root 3 r that is 3 root 3 r which is equal to o e once we got 3 root 3 r then automatically we know that o b length is equal to 6 root 3 r so let's go ahead and write down that we know now ob is equal to 6 root 3 r now once we are able to understand that it's pretty easy now ratio of areas are pi into r square and with respect to root 3 by 4 into side square that is 6 root 3 whole square into r square can we cancel r square r square and simplify that we will have pi is to root 3 by 4 into 6 root 3 whole square that is nothing but 1 not 8 so we'll simplify that we will have pi is to 27 root 3 so area of smaller circle with respect to that of equilateral triangle is pi is to 27 root 3 so how we got that we just used leveraged only the 10th class concepts what we know we first found out taking started with r because we want area of smaller circle which we know is pi r square 
Now this is R, then taking this as 30 degrees, we know root 3R, root 3R, root 3R. That means we know the total length OE equal to 3 root 3R. We have to be careful to understand that HJ equal to JF equal to JE because it's a common tangent to both the circles. Now once we know the length of the side is 6 root 3R, we can directly put the formula. Area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 into side square that is root 3 by 4 into 6 root 3 whole square into r square simplify we get pi is to, pi, pi is to 27 root 3 so that's one interesting example which i just thought of sharing with you please do let me know your feedback thanks for your time and support bye for now